Okay, in uh, previous tutorials I showed you how to use a QCAT uh, device to read uh, simple bar line codes. I also just showed you how to use programs like Barcode by GNU and also uh, uh, QR in code to create both bar line codes and uh, 2D barcodes. Today we're going to be looking at how to decode them. So whether you've created them or you've seen some somewhere, uh, that's what we're going to work on today. Now there should be an application in your repositories, if your repositories are up to date, called ZBar. Uh, it might be under ZBar-Tools. Once installed, it installs libraries that you can use to create your own uh, barcoding reading applications, but also installs two applications, two ZBar applications. And we're gonna look at the first one right here is called ZBar IMG. And what this program does is it takes a image that you have saved on your computer uh, with a barcode in it and will decode it for you. So last time we created a few barcodes uh, one of which was called uh, my, well, actually I don't remember what it was called, list. Okay, 2D barcode. So we're going to say um, ZBar IMG 2D barcode PNG. And if we hit enter right away, it shows us that it knows that this is a QR code, which is a style of 2D barcode. <coughs> Excuse me. And the message inside the barcode, which is this is my first 2D barcode, if you remember from our last tutorial, and it tells you that it scanned one barcode uh, symbols from one image in 0 0.02 seconds. Now, if we want to take the output of that, and we don't want, let's say we don't care how fast it does it, we just want the barcode uh, output, we can say dash Q, and it will not give us that last little line of extra information there. Also, if you don't care for the output of what type of barcode encoding it is, you can just say dash dash raw, and it'll just give us the output that that barcode contains. So there you go with dash Q and dash dash R, we get just the code that was saved inside that barcode, which is this is my first 2D barcode. Um, here's another example. We'll take an image called link which will give us the output of filmsbychris.com. And then we can also display so I can show you if you didn't see the last tutorial when we created them. This is what the 2D barcode looks like. So we take that 2D barcode and, um, and we run it through that and we get the output. And then we had a longer one, which uh, I originally accidentally saved as link, but I resaved it as Linux PNG. So we can take that same output and change it to linux.png. And you can see the code that is saved inside that barcode is, I love Linux, I think open source is a great thing, I believe. The more you give, the more you get. And the GNU is cool too. So that is the information that is saved within this 2D barcode. And in fact, right now, uh, other than uh, possibly because I'm going to resize this video to fit widescreen later on, it may be distorted, but if it wasn't distorted, and still maybe so, you should be able to scan that image in and get the output of it. Uh, I did do a video about a week ago uh, that had a barcode as the image for the video, and I'm happy to say five or six people actually figured to scan the barcode and it brought you to a secret little link that you could uh, leave a little comment saying that you were there. That's also something that I should mention that I will be having a lot more little hidden things in future videos. Some uh, will be um, things that I've already taught you and some will be new things that I'll teach you in the future. I'm just trying to see uh, who can figure stuff out on their own and also those who pay attention. Anyway, that's a whole nother topic, but do keep an eye out and an ear out for hidden messages in some of my videos uh, that may lead you to fun little links. Uh, anyway, continuing, Another application that is saved with uh, or installed when you install ZBar, uh, ZBar uh, C barcode, I'm um, sorry, not Z barcode, ZBar dash tools is a program called ZBar Cam. And this application will use your webcam or any camera device uh, to decode barcodes. So you can use your webcam as a scanner. Now, by default, it will look for device video zero. If you have more than one webcam or video device hooked up, you can tell it which one just by saying 
uh, Z-Bar cam and then the device, in which case I'm using my webcam that's on device video one. So all I have to do is hit enter there and my barcode brings it up, or my webcam brings it up. Uh, I sometimes have problem, problems with my uh, barcode, uh, that? my webcam, because it is a very cheap webcam. Um, so hopefully we don't have any problems with it today. Um, and this program, Z Barcam, uh, decodes the barcodes pretty fast as long as the camera is in focus. And my cheap little webcam, if you've watched some of my live videos, you'll know that sometimes it has a little difficulty focusing. So besides that, it scans barcodes pretty fast. So the first thing I'm going to do, just for fun, uh, is I'm going to open up another terminal here real quick. And I am going to display uh, one of our barcodes, and I'm going to read it right off the screen. I'll do the one that says link.png. So here it is. I'm actually going to bring it over to my other screen here, so it's close to my webcam because it has a short line on it. Uh, and I'll bring up the window here again. So now if I go and I scan that barcode, you can see right away it brings up that information in the terminal screen here. I'll open up another one of those images. So you can see I don't even have to print them out. I can just um, display them right on my computer screen and read them. So another one will open up linux.png. There it is right here. Once again, I'm going to pull it over here so it's closer to my webcam. And if you watch once again over here in our webcam or in our terminal, as soon as my webcam focuses in on it, it brings up that information. Now, just like last time, I'm going to kill that application. Uh, we can use those same uh, uh, arguments that we used before. I can do dash Q. Actually, I don't think dash Q is necessary. I can do dash dash raw. And now it shouldn't give me that extra little portion of it that tells me what type of barcode it is. So now I scan as soon as my webcam focuses in on it. There you go. It brings up just the output that is on that barcode. But it doesn't read just um, 2D barcodes. It will also read uh, the uh, line barcodes. So let me get back to the camera here. And I'll pick up a CD I have here. And right there you can see it brought up in the terminal uh, the code for that barcode. And unlike the QCAT, which will give you numbers based on the barcode, this will actually read the actual barcode number. If you look at the barcode number on this barcode, if my camera will focus, there you go. You can see that barcode is the same number that is actually on this product, which is a CD. Um, it also reads multiple types of line barcodes. So that was a standard UPC barcode. Uh, we can do another style barcode here and you can see it scans that. I'll grab another uh, paper here. These are just off of bills and other things I've gotten. And as you can see, as long as the camera is focused, it decodes them relatively fast. And now I am also going to show you uh, I do have, if I display out a PNG I have called all, I put three barcodes in there. I'm going to uh, actually kill that and open it up with this other terminal window. Whoops. So I'll display all. And I just want to show you how quickly it can read multiple barcodes. And I'm just going to read that once again right off my screen here. Did my camera get unplugged? Make sure my USB camera is still plugged in. Let's try... Oh, okay, so it put it back on device zero. Okay, anyway, I must have unplugged it and then I just loosened or tightened the connection. So here, I got three barcodes in one image. As soon as my camera focuses in on it, you can see right away it read all three barcodes immediately. So you can read multiple barcodes with a webcam, uh, which is very convenient. Uh, and I believe you can do the same thing with ZBar image. If I ZBar image that PNG file that has all three barcodes in it, you can see that it decoded all three of them in, it scanned three barcodes from one image 
in 0 0.03 seconds. So it can read multiple barcodes bar very fast. So as you can see, barcodes are very uh, fun, fast, convenient way to store information. Um, so I hope you found this story useful. Keep an eye out for uh, barcodes in future videos that may lead you to secret fun little uh, sites or links of some sort. And I hope that you enjoy this tutorial, and I hope that you visit the links in the description. I also hope that you have a great day.